So in today's video, we are going to learn how to create a custom Stinger transition for your live streams inside HitFilm Express. I'll be using HitFilm Pro, but the same will work on HitFilm Express as well or any other editing software as well. So we're going to start off by creating a new composite shot and you can rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to change the duration and make this 5 seconds long. 1920 1080 and 60 fps click on ok then we're going to create a new plane layer and i'm going to call this shape and you can just pick any color if you have a theme already for your live stream then you can use that color but i'm going to use this color and click on ok and i'm going to also copy this color code click on ok and then we'll just go to transform of this layer and rotate this by about 45 and we'll just zoom in zoom out hold the control key and the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and I'm going to pan around by using the right mouse key and then you can just click and hold just drag this to fill this shape so as you can see we have these black borders at the edges so these are basically the transparent edges so if you go to options and click on checkerboard background you can notice that this is the transparent area so just enlarge this so that it fills it up and then we just have to duplicate this Control d twice so we have three layers and you can just fill it in with different colors so i'm going to go to fill color search for fill color effects and you can just drag this fill color onto your second shape layer expand the fill and i'm going to click on this color i'm going to paste the same color code over here and now i just want to make it a bit darker so i'm going to load down the slider and click on ok i'm going to copy this fill color and paste it on shape 3 and just make it even darker something like that and then we just have to create our animation i'm going to search for position so type in position in the search field till you get the keyframes i'm going to create a keyframe on all of these three and i'm going to move forward to a second again create the same keyframe so you can just click on toggle keyframes icon to create the same keyframe now go back to the very first frame and just select these three layers okay select it and make sure it's selected properly so it, you'll see that these keyframes will turn blue when you select them and you can just bring or change its position and just move it away from the screen so now if you scrub through the timeline you will have something like this Okay, so these are all animating at the same time. Um, what we want to do is select the second one and just bring it forward by about five frames. And maybe do the same thing, bring this forward by about 10 frames. So now if you scrub through, you'll have these appearing in a different at a different time. So something like that. I'm gonna select all of these keyframes, convert them convert the keyframes to manual bezier going to value graph hold the shift key and just drag this handle to the left uh, make sure you do this with all the position keyframes okay so let's play this again and now we have a different kind of animation altogether now i just want this animation or this background to stay a bit longer so maybe about so let's see it ends at one second and 10 frames so maybe i'll just give it 30 frames gap so i'll just move to one frame one second and 40th frame and i'm going to create the same keyframe so i'm going to copy this and just select this Control c and Control v i'm going to select this keyframe Control c Control v select this keyframe Control c Control v and just again stagger these up so I can just move this one forward um, by about five frames and this one by about 10 frames. 
and I'm going to move forward to a second so I'll go to 2 second and 40 frames I like that and copy this keyframe control C control O uh, we just have to move this uh, to the top so I can just drag this and just move it over here and do the same thing with this layer or the shape as well and just move it away from the screen and again we have to set a gap of five frames between each of these so something like that and you can select these keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier going to value graph and again the same curve so just do that so let's have a look and that's looking absolutely fine now all you have to do is add in our logo so i downloaded this png image of uh, esports logo so i can just drag this and put it on the top and as you can see it already has this black background that we want to remove so we can go to effects and search for i guess demult and get that'll get rid of the black but it's also going to get rid of some transparency as well so let's use something else under keying so if you close this under keying we have i guess luminance key we can drag this and here we can just play with the threshold value uh, and you can see just if i just lower this down it'll just bring up more details about this logo and it will also get rid of the black color as well okay so we have that and now as you can see our logo is already visible from the beginning which we don't want first of all let's just go to transform and scale this down i'm going to scale this to 50 percent so what i basically want to do is i want the shape 3 to reveal my logo which is this layer over here and to do that we have to search for set matte effect in the effects tab and apply it on your logo logo layer and in the set mat let's go to the controls tab on the top left corner and expand the set mat set the source layer to shape 3 set the blend to subtract and let's now take a look at it again it's visible from the beginning and maybe we just have to click on the inward option so scrub through the timeline and see if everything is working fine which it is so um let's go forward and yeah the same layer the shape 3 will also hide your text uh, while the intro is being or I mean the transition is being animated out so let's take a look at this awesome now all we have to do is we can just add some scale animation to this so I'm gonna start right here create a scale keyframe and I'm gonna end about this position and create another keyframe and on the second one i'll just scale this up by uh, maybe 70 ish so it just depends on your personal taste i'm going to play this and uh, there we have it this uh transition i think that's too big so maybe i'll just lower this down to 60 ish Yep, there we go. That's how you can create the uh, Stinger transition inside HitFilm Express for free. Um, you can also download some sound like transition effect like bushes and all that to match up with your transition. But that's just about it. That's how you can create this animation. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions, do mention them in the comments below. I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.